Video captures the horrifying moment a school bus in Ohio packed with students flips onto its side. Incredibly, no one was seriously hurt. Officials just released this video from the December crash. They say the bus overturned after another vehicle ran a red light and hit it. While the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says school buses are the most regulated vehicles on the road, most states, including Ohio, Washington, and Oregon, don't require seatbelts in large school buses. In fact, they're only mandatory in eight states. The National Transportation Safety Board is now calling on all states to require three-point seatbelts on new school buses. We've got to keep the students properly restrained in the event that there's a, a crash. And, and lap shoulder belts are the most effective means of protecting our children. We've had our fair share of school bus crashes here. <laughs> In November of last year, the Washington County Sheriff's Office released this video showing the inside of a school bus as it veers off the road and into a ditch south of Forest Grove. Deputies say the bus driver was under the influence, but the DA's office decided not to press charges. Before that, another school bus driver in Longview was arrested for driving drunk. While the students in those incidents were okay, nationally between 2008 and 2017, 264 school-aged children died in school transportation-related crashes. Last year, NBC News visited a commercial crash test facility to see the potential risks for riding without seatbelts. Launching vehicle in three, two, one. A school bus filled with 15 dummies, eight wearing seatbelts and seven without, was sent off a ramp at 35 miles per hour to simulate a real-life rollover. One unbelted passenger flies across the aisle, his neck snapping back and slamming against the seat. Two others were also thrown from their seats, while all of the belted passengers stayed put. Now, after images from this latest real-life school bus crash, there's a renewed push for three-point seatbelts for students. We're a bit uh, dumbfounded as to why districts are not requiring this. Certainly there is an increased cost, but when it comes to the safety of our children, what is a few more dollars? The company that manufactures the seatbelts used in that crash test says it would cost about seven to $10,000 per bus to add seatbelts. So that cost could be part of the reason many school districts haven't added them to buses. Another big reason those school buses don't have seatbelts is because they're designed to withstand impacts. Here you want to think about those energy absorbing padded seats that are close together. Guys.